Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate your solar energy using an easy online calculator. So stick around. Welcome to another episode of Prep Gear, where I test and review products so you don't waste time and money. This is an honest review. My videos and my channel are not sponsored, allowing me to say whatever I want about the products I test. Hey, I know everyone is excited about the solar energy right now, and those of you watching this video from the Echo Flow Delta Pro Launch Facebook page, you're certainly excited about the new Delta Pro. I'm excited because the new solar generator is truly revolutionizing the portable and at home solar energy market. And it's going to provide power from my home uh, during outages. Now I'm not a solar expert, but I have been doing a lot of research and what I have learned is that the EcoFlow is doing something different. They are doing something new with the generators. Uh, they are solar generators with larger capacities and much faster charge times. They are coming with features that no other company is offering and their selection is growing with the new Delta Pro that is getting ramped up here very soon. So if you're new to solar energy, like I am, you probably have been wondering just how much energy do you need and just how long solar generators will last during a power outage or you know an off-grid scenario. Trying to understand amps and volts, wattage, watt hours, input, output, it all gets confusing. The biggest question I have seen uh, over on the Delta Pro Facebook page is, will it power my appliance? You know, will it power this? Will it power that? So I found this handy little calculator online that can help you. So let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you just how it works. But before I do, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It's how this channel grows. Also, if you're new to my channel, and want to learn more about solar energy and follow the latest EcoFlow products or want to learn more about living off the grid, consider subscribing to Prepare to Survive. All right, so here's the page. Um, I'm not going to show you the full page just yet. I'm not going to show you the URL because I want to capture your attention for just a moment and, and show you a couple important things about this calculator. Um, so, so first of all, over here you have these drop-down boxes and it's already pre-filled with uh, you know, some common appliances and, and power tools and things uh, in this column here. And so the drop down box, you know, you can change it and you can search and put in a number of different things there. This next column over is the quantity. That's how many of these items you plan to run. For instance, uh, you know, 60 watt light bulb, maybe you have 10 of them. The next column over here, it's pre-filled already with an estimate based on the wattage for the most common you know, light bulb or, or coffee machine, refrigerator, etc. They've also pre-filled this data column here that gives you an estimate of how much you might use it each day. Now, so it's important that when you get ready to start using this calculator that you select the appliance that you plan to use on solar power. You know, how many of them that you have. It's going to pre-fill the estimated watts based on the most common uh, item and then select your hours of how much you're going to use it each day and then it's going to give you a run a, a total over here uh, how much energy that particular item is going to use over a day period now like i said this comes this form comes pre-filled uh, with all this information on here but if you scroll down to the bottom of the form there's this link down here it says clear all fields if you click that it's going to zero everything out so it gives you a place to start with so now we can go over here, and I'm just going to demonstrate and pick a few items here. You know, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm not going to be running a lot of these items on solar energy uh, in a downgrid scenario. You know, I'm not going to be using a can opener probably. Uh, I'll use a manual can opener. No coffee machine, no dishwasher. I do have a freezer that I want to keep running. So I'm going to select this upright freezer here, and I have one of those. And as you can see, it was pre-filled. And it says four hours a day. Now my refrigerator is going to be on 24 hours, but this is only about um, this is only calculating the compressor. When the compressor kicks on to, to keep it cool, it's estimated that it'll do that about four hours a day. And so I think that's a good estimate there. So let's uh, select a couple more here. 
Um, a refrigerator, I have uh, actually two large refrigerators. So I'm gonna change this quantity to two because I have two refrigerators I wanna keep running. And again, the compressor hopefully will not run more than about four hours out of a day to keep those units cold. And we'll go down, select a few more here. You know, I won't run the garbage disposal. Uh, microwave, yes, probably, because it's a, it's a way to heat up food quickly. And so we have one of those. Most microwaves are 1,000 watts. And, you know, estimating 15, 20 minutes out of the day uh, for each, uh, you know, for use. So that gives us a total of 300. We'll keep going down here. Pick a couple more here. A toaster oven, uh, maybe. You know, certainly not the oven, the your regular oven and range if it's electric. Uh, those take consume a lot of electricity. So maybe a uh, maybe a toaster oven. You know, one of those, 1,200 watts for uh, you know 15, 20 minutes at a time, or per day. Uh, we'll go down here. Uh, I'm in Florida, and so it gets really, really hot. So I'll plan on having a couple of box fans, and I'm going to change that to maybe the three box fans uh, that I want running. And I'm also going to change that to maybe, you know, let's just change that value and say at least four hours a day, which is going to be a lot of energy. So, um, but this is just an estimate to give us an idea where we need to be. Let's see if there's anything else real quick we want to throw on this list. Uh, certainly not central air conditioning, not a hot water heater. Uh, I'm not going to clean the floors. So I'm not worried about the vacuum uh, during that time. Um, yes, here we go. So... Hey, where is it? Somewhere in here we got TVs, we got the cable box, we got more light bulbs to choose from. There it is, laptop. So that's going to be important to me. And we've got two in our home. And so, yeah, four hours. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably good. But also a modem. And so that's on the list here somewhere. So we'll grab that real quick. And, yep, 24 watts. Or 24 hours a day is 7 watts. That's about right. And let's look at the router. Because we do have a router. So one of those. So I'll stop right there. So you can continue and you can select additional items. If you don't see an item on the list, um, you know, you can go ahead and, um, you know, type in whatever it is that you want. And then pre-fill this data if you know what it is. Uh, when you get to the bottom of the page, if you need to, you can add uh, more lines. If there's more things that you plan to power up. And so, you know, it's going to give you a, a good idea here of what your power needs are. So with all that done, we're going to scroll down to the bottom. And right here, it's showing me that I'll need about, you know, 8,000 watt hours per day, um, which, is, which is a good amount of energy, okay? Uh, right here, it's nice because it tells me my peak load at any one time. If everything fires up at the same instant, you know, it's going to be 4,150 total peak wattage is what it's going to be used um, so that's kind of important but this is this is the most important number right here how much energy are you going to use in a day's time now remember it says in a day's time but we're calculating that you're only going to run these items for a few hours each you know four hours for these items less than an hour for the microwave uh, etc so adjust that accordingly to make sure you get a good estimate right here of how many watts per day now with that information, what you can do is you can jump back over and, and if you're coming from the, the Echo Flow Delta Pro launch group page uh, where they're providing a lot of good information about the new Delta Pro solar generator, uh, this video is going to be posted there. So a lot of you folks are coming from there. Uh, so what you'd want to do is, is <clears throat> take this information right here and compare it with, you know, the the output or that or excuse me the total capacity of the the generator that they're they're going to be building here real soon so for instance i can see that you know we know the generator is going to be 3600 watt hours uh, but a generator plus the battery uh, an extra battery is going to give us 7200 watt hours so that's probably what i would be looking at right there for my setup you know 7200 watt hour isn't quite enough for right here but again this right here is just an estimate I can adjust my usage a little bit uh, to account for and to make sure that I stay within uh, whatever uh, energy that is available by those two units. Something else to keep in mind is you're going to be hooking your, your generator and battery up to uh, solar panels and that's going to be generating energy for you. Uh, as you use energy, you're also creating energy. You're, you know, you're storing that energy up. 
So you know, if, if I get four or five hours of sunlight each day, I'm using energy up, but I'm also, um, you know, I'm also kind of extending the ability of that generator. And so I might get more out of it that's going to, you know, more easily hit this target. But something else to keep in mind too, is if you, <clears throat> if you have an underpowered system, you know, we use this as the example, if you're only at 7,200, you know, watt hours a day, and, and you're exceeding that, and so you're relying on your solar panels to make up the difference, you know, what's going to happen when the sun goes down, and then the next day you start fresh, and you're going to want to start using, you know, 8,100 watts again right, right off, uh, right at the bat. You're, you're going to want to start using 8,100 watts again, but your batteries may not be fully recharged. So that's an important point to keep in mind. If you're, you know, if you get six hours of sunlight every day, you know, uh, and if you have the maximum uh, solar panels, it's only going to take a couple hours to recharge those uh, those batteries fully. Then you can get away with um, get away with doing what I was just talking about here. But if you don't get that much sunlight, or you don't have the maximum, uh, you know, solar panel input to recharge those batteries quickly then you're going to want to, you know, kind of estimate and figure out, you know, how much energy can you use each day that you're generating and how much, you know, are those going to have to sit there in the sunlight to, uh, to fully recharge your generator and battery so it's ready for the next day to start over again. And I hope that makes sense. Okay, so uh, I want to show you, uh, you know, what this page is and how you can get to it. Uh, this is another solar energy website. Uh, it is called... Uh, unbound solar and the address is simply unboundsolar.com and so if you type that in you can get to this website finding this calculator was a little hard uh, so I'll show you how to get there real, real easy whenever you get to the home page or any page for that matter you scroll down to the bottom you get to the footer and right here under tools you go down to off-grid calculator you click on that link and it's going to bring you to this page and then you simply scroll down near the bottom of this page and there's the calculator. Hey, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe now and like this video so YouTube will push this out to more viewers and that's how this channel grows. I have a couple other videos I know you're going to like so I'm going to go ahead and stick those up right here and if you click on those I'm going to see you over on the other side. Thanks for watching.